Hey, what's up guys? It's Mr. Yuck and welcome to Battlefield Weekly. Everything Battlefield, every week. So in this week in Battlefield Weekly, we have information about Battlefield Hazard Zone and the frequent asked questions that DICE address will be in the top corner of the screen. And DICE released some data about the Battlefield 2042 beta. So let's get right into it then. Battlefield Hazard Zone will have 24 players on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4, six squads of four members, and 32 players on the PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series and PC, eight squads of four members. Your squad will have to face off against other squads and AIs protecting the satellites. The objective in Battlefield Hazard Zone is not to kill, but to attain critical data out of the fallen satellites. So you can win the game without firing a single shot. You have the potential to lose a lot of progress in Battlefield Hazard Zone, so choose the right gear and weapons. You can be down and bleeding out, like in BR games, and will be able to crawl to safety to get healed by a teammate. If you die in Hazard Zone, you will be put in a spectator mode, and your team can bring you back by using reinforcement uplinks found around the map, or from tactical upgrades, which you can buy using dark market credits. You will have a limited amount of time to get the data and head to the extraction point before the storm hits, and extraction's unable to get to you. In-game weather will be a threat also, like the tornado will be a rare occurrence, but it can happen, so you'd have to watch out for that too. And only two squads are able to win the round. And if you are one of the winning squads, you'll be able to buy better upgrades before the next round. So don't lose, because you could lose everything. DICE released some data that they gathered from the Battlefield 2042 beta, so let's take a look at it. There is 17 billion total bullets fired, and 10.8 million Rangers called in, and the top five most fired weapons were the M5A3, the LCMG, the AK-24, the PBX-45, and the K-30. The most used equipment was the grappling hook, the recoilless M5, ammo crate, the rep pistol, and the sentry gun. Top five most vehicles used was the MD-540 Nightbird, the LAT V4, the EBAA Wildcat, the T-28, and the MV-38 Condor. And the top specialist used was McKay, Falk, Boris, and Casper. Well, guys, that's it for today. But before I go, I just want to say thank you for all the support I've been getting lately. It truly means a lot to me. So let's keep this momentum going. If you think this video deserves it, hit that like button. And while you're at it, consider subscribing. Free to you, and it helps me out a lot. All right, guys, I'm Mr. Yuck, and I'll talk to you in the next video.